Have you ever wondered how to come up with your family's own values? I know that for me, when I was first introduced to the idea, I was skeptical but intrigued. And for you today, I want to help you be able to come up with your family's own core values. I believe that it is worth your time, energy, and effort, and that you can accomplish this if you want in as little as 10 minutes. So let's jump in. I can tell you first, to give you a concept of this, what my family's core values are. Sigmunds are kind, Sigmunds obey, Sigmunds are thankful, Sigmunds tell the truth, and Sigmunds have fun. And I absolutely love our values. And uh, I, I know for you, you're thinking, how could I come up with my own values for my family? And I think that the first thing for you to do is to first start with the end in mind. What is it for you that is most important to you and to your family? Even when you think about it, what is the legacy you want to have for your kids and your family long term? When your kids are grown up, maybe they graduate high school, they're in college, they're working a job, what is it that you would point to to be the five most important things that you would want to be instilled inside of your children? You know, I think that oftentimes what can happen when you start coming up with your family's core values is it can just turn into being about behaviors. And while I think that your values certainly affect your behaviors on your day-to-day -day basis, I think that if you limit it to only thinking about behavior management, you will miss out on a real opportunity. I think that also what's so important when it comes to core family values is they have to be able to be memorized and to be able to do that in a really easy way, even for somebody as little as five years old. So. If you want to come up with a way for you and your family to memorize these values, here's, here's a couple of ways. Here's four ideas for how you could memorize your ideas once you have them in place. And we're gonna talk about how to come up with them in just a minute. But uh, if we were to come up with a way to memorize, first, uh, maybe you would start saying these at family dinner. And I would say these every night for, say, a week until your family really knows them and gets them. And then I would come back to those values one time per week. Uh, for instance, maybe at Sunday dinner, you know, you start with here are our family values. Or maybe you have your kids recite them as part of their bedtime routine. Third thing you can do is to introduce these during your instruction or correction time. So for instance, I might say, hey son, stop beating your sister with a pool noodle over the top of the head. <laughs> That's not okay. Sigmunds are kind. Or um, maybe it's that Sigmunds are helpful. Hey guys, we're going to clean up the living room. They start complaining. Hey guys, just want to remember, one of our core values, Sigmunds are helpful. Um, or even the obey. Hey, Sigmunds obey. We've even added Sigmunds obey right away because we are really working on that one and obeying the first time and not the 75th time. So uh, there's, there's an important reality for you to be able to do that during instruction or correction time. But I also really want to highlight this. I think fourth, it's really important to use it as your encouragement time when you're trying to really encourage what is going right in your family. Because I think what can so easily happen is it just becomes utilized in the correction time and not in what you actually are really appreciative when those values are happening in your household. So one of the hacks I've tried to use in my own brain is I feel like it's natural for me to say, to utilize the core values about 10 times more in correction than I do in what I celebrate or encourage in my kids. And so I'm trying to flip that narrative and say, I'm going to celebrate it 10 times for every one time that I use the values to correct them. Um, I'm certainly not there, but it's a, it's a mind hack that I'm using so that I make sure I'm celebrating what I want to have replicated in my children. Now, as you're coming up with these core values, maybe you've got kids who are older than mine. Mine are seven and four. Maybe for you, you've got some teenage kids and you uh, want to 
have them be a part of the process. You could even ask them questions like, what do you think our family really values? Or what do you think our family should really value? You could bring them along into the process. That's up to you. But what you have to know about your core family values is you have to be able to memorize them and then you have to be able to write it down. You have to write these values down. In order for you to be able to reference them, you have to have them in a, in a place in your house, I believe, even that's displayed. For us, it's on the front of our refrigerator so that it's prominently displayed. It's right there in front of us. You could put it on a bathroom mirror, um, something like that. Because here's, here's the thing is, uh, Barna Research says that seven out of 10 people say their family has an explicit set of values for their family, but less than three out of 10 have actually written that down. And I know that for you as a parent, you're taking this seriously. You want this to be instilled. And so for you, you've got to start with writing these values down. But before you can write those values down, you've got to come up with your own list. And so before you jump into that, I want to give you one more family's example. And then I'm going to pause this video and have you try to come up with it. And if you're still struggling, then I will give you an extra 30 values for you to be able to pull from that might help inspire thoughts for you. But the first thing is uh, one of my uh, co-workers and friends, Pastor Steve, he has five core family values and here they are. They are purpose, courage, family, giving, and fun. Those are great family values that his whole family abides by and lives by. It's a compass by even which they can help make their decisions for what they're going to say yes to or no to. So I want you to take an opportunity at this time right now to pause the video and to try to come up with your own list. And maybe you're like me where we started with seven or eight values and we knew that was too many, so we had to whittle it down. You can do this on your own, you can do it with your spouse, however you want to work on this to, to be able to come up with whatever your values are. But take five minutes and try to come up with the things that you believe are most important to you if you're still struggling or you want to spur on with other ideas, you can come right back. But go ahead, hit pause. All right. Well, hopefully you were able to come up with your list. If you're still looking for some more ideas, I want to have those come up. They're going to pop up and scroll through on the screen here to give you more ideas for how you could create core values for you and for your family. I hope this has really helped you. I know that for us, it's been really helpful for us in helping set the tone for where we want our family to go. Even when I think about a legacy of generation to generation, what could I pass down and instill in my children and make a core part of my family? I get really excited about that legacy. I hope that that goes well for you and for your family. Thank you so much.